going to love this place. It has all the latest cosmetics from around the world. <gasps> I hear it's so popular that it's been booked sold for the past two weeks. Yeah, well, yours truly called in a few favors and got us in. <gasps> Sweet! I can't wait to get my new look. Okay, Clover, what gives? Yeah, it looks like you're dressed for the red carpet, not the school hallway. Can't a girl just look her best without getting the third degree? Okay, okay. Today I'm going to talk to Rodney, the new Hunkalicious guy at school. So that's what this is all about. I was up all night getting ready. After all, you only get one chance to make a good first impression. Well, you look great, Clover. Good luck. <sighs> Who needs luck? So, Rodney, how do you like Bev High so far? Um, do I know you? I sit right behind you in third period biology class. So, um, did you catch the big game last night? No, I was too busy. Um, I was wondering, um, uh, maybe, I don't know, want to go out with, for me, a movie sometime? I mean, um, a movie? <laughs> with me? Thanks, but I don't think so. I'm late for class. Nice talking to you, Carol. Oh, he didn't even know my name! Ha! Get used to it! Your best simply isn't good enough, Carol! I did everything that boys can't resist, and I got totally resisted. Don't worry about it. He wasn't that cute anyway. Oh, great. So I got shot down by a not-cute guy? Ugh, that's it. I'm through with working hard to look good. It's not worth it. Welcome, Super Spies. I trust you enjoyed the ride? Chair, did you ever think of just paging us? Sometimes, but then that would deprive you with the fun of sliding down the tunnel. So, Clover, is messy bedhead the newest Beverly Hills trend? Trends come and go. It's just hair. Does it really matter how it looks? Clover's really upset over a guy who rejected her. Well, I've got just the thing for you girls. Guaranteed to put a smile on your face. A mission in Paris. <gasps> Paris? Whatever. We've been getting reports of bizarre-looking people running around the streets of the fair city. <coughs> Circus freaks gone wild? Carnivorous underground dwellers? Angry mutants? I don't know. All I can give you is the general location of where the reports are coming from, and of course some gadgets Gladys will supply you with. On this mission, I'm giving you the Head for Cover hoverboards, hypermagnetic eagle belt buckles, earring communicators, and super inflating brooches. So how do these super inflating brooches work? Well, it's rather simple. Just grasp firmly and pull the brooch out. And there you have it. Instant inflation. Too bad the French don't sumo wrestle. These belt buckles are kind of cool. We can actually wear these around Paris. No, Alex, not in here. Ugh. Uh, uh. Oh, who knew there were so many metal things in this office? <laughs> Luckily, its effects are reversible. Thanks. Let's hit it, girls. We've got a case to solve. In Paris! <laughs> All right! Too bad we're on a mission or we could shop all day. Or get our hair done at some cool salon. Isn't this awesome, Clover? I suppose it could be worse. I'm a little worried about Clover. Normally, she'd be way psyched about Paris. Hopefully, this mission will be just the thing to take Clover's mind off the 
the Rodney incident. <sighs> um, Clover? You got a little something on your face. Who cares? It's just a stain. What difference does it make? Okay, let's split up and investigate. The sooner we get this mission solved, the sooner we can have some fun Paris style. Everything's clear up here. No sign of danger around here either. Ugh. Everything is cool down here, except the smell. Everything looks fine. No sign of any bizarre-looking mutants. It was probably just a false alarm. Well, since nothing else is going on, it's time to visit some boutiques. Shop! Oh, yeah! yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. la, la, la. We should look into getting something for Clover's smell. Hey, Clover! Wanna go perfume shopping? <laughs> I know how much you love trying out different scents. Oh, it wouldn't make any difference. No guy is going to go out with me no matter what I smell like. <laughs> wow, the prices in there must be really scary. I think we found what we're looking for. Come on! <laughs> Let's stop her before she hurts herself. How cute! We definitely have to go to this store. Stop running! We can help you! <gasps> then again, maybe not. It's alright. I think she's just scared or surprised. Hi. It's gonna be okay. Just tell us what happened and maybe we can figure something out. It all started when I went to the... <gasps> She's gone! But she left behind a clue. All it has is a bunch of Moody Beauty brand cosmetics. Moody Beauty, designed exclusively for the beautiful people. It's supposed to make you look happy, pouty, mysterious, whatever emotion you want. It's endorsed by Miss Vanity! Remember her? She used to be a super hot beauty queen! I'll send this makeup to Whoop for analysis. Let's head back to that store and see why she ran out in such a panic. It's closed. Check this out. Miss Vanity's Fair, an open audition for up-and-coming models. I think it's time we pay Miss Vanity a visit and see if she's connected to any of this. And even if she isn't, this could be our big break. Okay, just try to fit in. Come on, Clover, we're supposed to be models. She's right. You don't have any makeup on and you haven't even brushed your hair. Or my teeth, for that matter. Silence, girls! It's Miss Vanity. When Miss Vanity speaks, you listen. Now, line up! We'll see if you girls have what it takes to represent Miss Vanity in the fashion world. Oh, what a pathetic display. None of you deserves to be a Miss Vanity model. But there is still hope. It's time for a stunning transformation. What on earth is that? Mysterious! Talk about an instant makeover! Jealous! Bored! Uh, come to think of it, I prefer the natural look. Happy! Pouty. 
Her look is perfect. She has no need for my cosmetics. Victorious! Hungry! Sleepy! Irritated! Excited! Snobby! Indifferent! <laughs> my face is starting to tingle! What is it with this makeup? Sam, why are you still smiling? I can't stop. My face is frozen this way. Me too. This makeup has turned us into freaks. Lovely. You all look simply lovely. My work here is done. trying to escape. She's not getting away with this that easily. I wish I could wipe off this makeup. I am so not happy with this. You could have fooled me. Okay, according to the tracking device, Miss Vanity is in here somewhere. This must be the place. Ooh, I can't wait to get my hands on Miss Vanity. No one makes me look like a pouty sour person gets away with it. Hey, check this out. So, this is where Miss Vanity manufactures her bizarre makeup. I don't get it. Why would she create cosmetics to make people look unattractive? Let's go find Miss Vanity and ask her. Or maybe she'll find us first. This is just what I need to take out my frustrations. You know, when I used to wear makeup, I was pretty good with these. was close. I don't think my face could take much more. <laughs> Definitely not smudge proof. That takes care of them. Oh! You fight pretty well for a bunch of obsessed beauty seekers. That coming from somebody named Miss Vanity. What's your problem anyway? My problem is that I used to be one of the most famous beauty queens in the world. And then, all at once, I was thrown aside by the industry. Well, duh. I mean, look at you. People focus too much on being beautiful. But I'm going to change all that and show everyone the folly of their vain ways. Sounds like you couldn't handle the end of your career. Maybe you should get a hobby like knitting or something. You'll be unhappy to learn that I have something very special planned for you girls. This giant compact has a spring-based motor that will slowly close the top and create three more victims of vanity. <laughs> now, I'm off to change the world for the better.
for a former beauty queen, she really knows how to tie knots. Maybe that's what she did for the talent portion of the competition. Ugh, it's no use! This compact spring is too strong! Ugh, ugh, I've got an idea! Perfect! Now it's your turn! <laughs> you know, if we didn't have to stop a demented villain, this would be kind of fun! We've got to stop Miss Vanity before she does this to anyone else! <gasps> Jerry! Are you alright? The truth is, sometimes I like to add a little color to my pasty British complexion. I tried this new makeup I found lying around the office, but I seem to have reacted in a very bad way. You can say that again. The lab has discovered that the makeup contains DNA from people with different emotional states of mind. So that's how it changes people's appearances. Okay, mystery solved, but Miss Vanity is getting away! We sure could use a boat, Jer. Thanks! And Jerry, try to cheer up! You look wonderful, darlings! Those superficial girls never quit. This calls for my special liquid eyeliner. I can't get close enough! Abandoned ship! We're gonna need our hoverboards! Hold still, girls! This will bring out the color of your eyes. Ha! Huh. You won't leave this ship. Maven's battle stations. That's some high-quality concealer. How can we fight when we can't see? Uh, oh! Uh. Wow! Time to fight makeup with makeup. <sighs> there they are. And here we come. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Gladys, we need whoop agents to pick up three wet villains. Impressive. Very impressive. But answer me this one question. Wouldn't you girls like to finish a fight and still have your hair looking its best? Well, behold. Super hold hair mousse. Emphasis on the super hold. Just our luck. She's got the economy size. Whoa! Huh? Uh, 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 uh. She must be getting tired. Her aim is way off. Why did I jinx that? Go! Now what am I going to do? Look on the bright side. You're going to look absolutely fabulous in defeat. <laughs> Looks like the next thing you'll be modeling will be prison gear. I am so glad we're back to normal. I was getting fed up smiling all the time. Thanks to this Miss Vanity incident, I think I'll be avoiding makeup for a while. Uh, dear, never mind Miss Vanity. It might be a good idea if you stay away from makeup forever. 
you might have a point. One thing I don't get, why do we smell so raunchy? The lab found that only a garlic and cabbage facial scrub could reverse the effects of Miss Vanity's makeup. That's a small price to pay for getting rid of Miss Vanity's makeup. Whatever. It doesn't matter what I smell or look like. <sighs> Clover? I hardly recognized you. Wow. You have the same haircut as my girlfriend back home. Well, gotta run. See you in class. So it wasn't my looks. He rejected me because he has a girlfriend. Yeah, but with a look like that, you better get used to rejection. Unless you join the circus. <laughs> oh, how did I slip so far? It started with your hair, then you stopped brushing your teeth, then... Never mind, I'm off to the group for a total makeup makeover shopping spree. <laughs> okay, so like one of the healthiest foods around is sushi, and it totally tastes good. I like octopus, tuna, salmon, and this, which is, um, actually, I'm not really sure what this one is. Ew! And I'm not really sure I want to know. Sometimes you have to know when to draw the line. Hello, Fruit Patrol to go. I'd like to order a full vegan meal and order a pizza with extra cheese and pepperoni.